Hello, a warm welcome. We've dropped anchor here on the south coast of England at St Mary's Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Southampton taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. And here's how it looks for Southampton. James Ward-Prowse starts with Oriol Romeo in the centre of midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. And a look at the Chelsea starting eleven. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Thiago Silva plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. And Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Poor pass. Conte. A real opening now, and still danger here. Well, good defending, clattered out of there. And wasteful from Chelsea. This is the message for all the supporters. Ward Prowse, he's got the right idea with that pass. And keeping it out. And he clears the danger. Kai Havertz. Mount. Jorginho. They're making high pressing work for them here. Oh, surely! That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. taken short and the no-nonsense clearance Kai Havertz can he put them in front yes is the emphatic answer and you have to say it was on the cards Well, here it is again, and the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. Continues his run. Che Adams. Thiago Silva wins it. Well, 
And the attack looks promising. Can he convert? And a fine stop. And there's the delivery. Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. Ward Prowse and a decent delivery. It comes to nothing in the end. Ball lost by Chelsea. Ward Prowse. This could level it. And fire the crossbar well the keeper has it and all is well well it is now but the striker did everything right barring a couple of inches well they were so close to the equalizer there they're certainly a bit unlucky but they need to make more of these chances Havertz on to Jorginho setting off perhaps a little bit too much here and a strong tackle Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. That is a tackle and a half. Jorginho. Mount. James. Now with Havertz. Just the challenge that was required. Counter-attacking very much an option. El Yunusi. And he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, and Golo Conte influential in that first half. What have you made of his performance so far? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. James and Golo Conte and Havertz. And can they create something? Jorginho looking confident with the ball at his feet. Jay Adams. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Now they've lost it. Jorginho. Conte has it. Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. Useful looking ball. Just couldn't capitalise there. have it again Jorginho Christensen it's Callum Hudson-Odoi Hudson-Odoi Jorginho Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Smuggled away. Armstrong. Ward Prowse. Take it away.
Just 20 minutes remaining now. He's given it straight to the opposition. Havertz. On to Jorginho. N'Golo Conte. Mount. And he takes on the shot. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Now will the keeper have to pay the price for that mistake? Havertz. Straight forward for the keeper. Ten minutes left for play. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Well, I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game, but there's still time to find that equaliser. And you have to say the crowd have been brilliant. They're still driving the team on. Hudson Odoi. Conte. Poor pass under no real pressure. Well, I have to say, these fans have been excellent. They still believe they're going to get back into this. Conte. It's Callum Hudson-Odoi. Mount. And he saw the situation developing. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And that is going to be all for this game. A frustrating day at the office for Southampton. No points picked up. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances. Could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. And a good performance, as we've come to expect from N'Golo Conte. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.